is probably in part because uh, I work in games and I think a lot about games and design and narrative and stuff. And so when I buy a game, I'm not always looking for it to do everything well. I just want to see what it does do well. I think 15 does some, some things that are well that are like really cool. Uh, it's it's very bromantic. I love the like road trip. Like it feels like like a road trip movie, and that's the good part. And then the bad part is uh, what was probably half the game in terms of narrative and plot was like 10% of the game in terms of time. So like you have this really slow or not slow, but it's very relaxed and like uh, kind of intimate first chunk of the game which constitutes most of your time playing it i love it but then the like the fucking uh the second half of plot it happens in like i don't know five ten hours something like that and so overall like the experience is whack but what they do well is cool and so it kind of depends on like how much you want like a game that is just good end to end. It's good all around. Like you're gonna you're gonna get something. You're gonna feel like it was rewarding and quality and it respected your time. And how much you want to see something cool, even though it kind of sucks after that.